across your beautiful hide. Bless your beautiful hide. Bless your beautiful hide wherever you may be. We ain't met yet, but I'm a willing to bet you're the gal for me. Oh, I'd swap my gun and I'd swap my mule. The whoever took it would be one big fool. Or pay your way through cooking school. If in you would say I do. This year. Six dollars a pound. Fine, I'll trade you for a new plow, two tubs of lard, a sack of coffee, 20 pounds of chewing tobacco. Oh, and uh, <laughs> you wouldn't happen to have an extra wife in stock now, would you? Any special brand? Why, well, yes, actually. I'd like best for a woman that ain't afraid to work. You see, there's seven of us, me and my six brothers. The place is a pigsty, and the food's worse than that. <laughs> so I made up my mind. Next time I go into town to trade, I'm bringing me back a wife. Well, that's a fine thing, I must say. Think you can come here and trade for a wife like she's a bag of meal. No, no, ma'am. I wouldn't say that, ma'am. Well, let me tell you something. None of our girls are going to go back with you to bear country to work her finger to the bone for any ornery backwoodsman. Besides, there's at least 10 men each gal in these parts. You want a wife? You're going to have to go back east to find one. Now, you mean to tell me that there is no unmarried females in this town? Morning, Miss Hall. Morning, Sarah. We're having a quilt. Meeting. How nice. Do you have any odds or ends? Absolutely. <laughs> what about these? Now, just a minute. They married? They're spoken for. <laughs> <laughs> just spoken for. You had me scared. I tell you, <laughs> they are promised. Well, a lady can change her mind now, can't she? You? You're wasting your time. You're not going to find a girl to marry you in this town. Never set my mind to something yet, but what I didn't do. 
Whether it's plowing 20 acres in a day or dropping a tree within an inch of where I want. Now I'm here today to get me a wife, and I don't aim to go back home empty handed. Hey, y'all are pretty and fresh and young, and I keep you in mind. But I ain't decide nothing until I look them all over. You're beautiful, hide. You're just as good as lost. I don't know your name, and I've mistaken my claim. Lest your eyes is crossed. Morning, ma'am. Morning, backwoodsman. Nice day. Yes, it is. Oh, I'd swap my gun and I'd swap my mule. The one one or pay your way through cooking school. If in Gotta be eyes, but all that size. She's gotta be right to be the bride for me. Bless her beautiful hide wherever she But I'm a willing to bet you're the gal for me. Come on, Billy, we're hungry. Wear the stew instead of eating it. <laughs> Could be. But first, I think I'd better sample that cooking. Hey, Millie. I reckon I'd like to take oh. that dessert now. <laughs> hey! That ain't no way to treat a lady. You butt out of this, mister! Don't you tell me to butt out of this! Oh. Now you get out of here! I hope my interfering don't cause no trouble, ma'am. Oh, no trouble at all. I appreciate what you did. <laughs> That's stew, huh? Uh-huh. Looks good enough to eat, ma'am. Well, here, have some. I'm the best cook this side of the Rockies. <laughs> Why, this stew don't even need no ketchup! Well, here, have some more. There'll be no extra charge. Really? Pretty and trim, but not too slim. Heavenly eyes and just the right size. Simple and sweet and sassy as can be. Bless your beautiful hide. Prepare to binge your knee. And take that vow, cause I'm telling you now. My name's Adam Ponopy. Oh, is it? Well, that's an odd name, I must say, Mr. Ponopy. You can call me Adam. Adam. Well, your posture works you hard. Oh, Mr. Sanders? Oh, he's in my father. 
Both of my parents passed back out on the trail. We got a late start and got caught in the winter storms. I moved into town a few months back. All alone? Well, I can take care of myself. <laughs> well, I can see that. <laughs> Millie, why don't you sit a minute? Well, I gotta do this first. Now you listen to me. Sit. I got a farm. <laughs> a good farm. There's a house on it. There's timberland and high grazing meadows. There's sheep and milk cows and 50 acres a week. Only thing it ain't got, well, it ain't got it a woman. So how about it? How about what? <laughs> How's about marrying me, Millie? Millie, did you hear me? Well, sure I did. <laughs> I don't know anything about you, how you live in things. I know it's short notice. <laughs> it would have been fitting to meet you on a Sunday leaving church. Six months later, I'd have asked, could I walk you home? Then for the next two or three years, I'd be sitting in your front parlor every Wednesday night. And well, finally, I'd have asked you, Paul, could have married. At least that's the way my mom would have wanted me to do it. But you see, here there ain't time. I gotta be back tonight to tend to my stock. It'll be another five months before I get down here after the harvest. Are you really gonna keep a fella waiting all that time just for a little lease of folder up? Well, I'd have to finish my chores first. Yeehaw! I knew the minute I laid eyes on you, you was a gift for me! Well, Adam! How far is it up to the farm? About 12 miles. Most people think that'd be pretty lonely, but I can handle some loneliness after this restaurant. Yeah. Always when I hear those rowdy men yelling for their dinner, I think how wonderful it would be just to have one man to cook and care for. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> My wagon's down in the grove. I'll go get us the preacher, get us a ring. I'll get me a nice shaven bath. I'll see you in about 10 minutes. Adam. Now, you're not changing your mind now, are you? Well, no. Well, good. I'll be right back. <laughs> Millie, are you thinking about spending time alone with Adam Ponsipi? Well, I guess you could say that, Ruth, sort of. <laughs> He's so handsome. <laughs> Do you like him, Millie? Well, I guess so. We're getting married. Married? married? Oh, I didn't even know you were being courted. Oh, well, I wasn't. I just got three years' worth in five minutes. <laughs> Millie Braden, I don't believe what you're doing. Well, aren't you the one who's always been telling me to get myself married? Yes, but to one of our town's boys, Millie. Not to some scruffy mountain man. Well, you know I tried. But every time I think about saying yes to one of them, an awful sinking feeling would strike me, and I just couldn't do it. But when I said yes to Adam, I waited for that feeling, but it didn't come. Ow! Oh, that's so romantic. Oh, I can't believe it. Somebody pinch me. Ow! Alice, honey, that's just an expression. <laughs> well, I gotta hurry, and I gotta pack. We'll finish this, Millie. And I'll be packing. <laughs> oh, we'll never see our Millie again. Oh, never? Never. 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 Don't worry, girls. She'll be back before the first snow. Don't forget my books. Plutarch's life in the Bible. They're all my parents left me. <laughs> there is something you should know about Adam and his family. Oh, well, I know all I need to know. There's a real goodness in his eyes, just like my pa. I always dreamed a man like that would come and take me away. I'm worried about you and your dreaming. When you wake up, you're gonna be married. Marion's for life. Could have married long ago. I said no. This came proposing. Bakers, teachers, preachers too were among the men I could have chosen.
When you're in those mountains, there's no coming down. He said, there's a big spread. It's a top haven where we will stay. You can't mean it, you ain't even seen it. Wonderful, wonderful day. You hardly know him, he could mistreat you. Think of the wolves and the bears that could eat you. <laughs> <laughs> Solid. Oh, uh, this here's my brother Caleb. <laughs> Caleb, this is my wife, Millie. Brother? Well, how do you do, brother Caleb? <laughs> Your wife? <laughs> well, I'll be a monkey's uncle. <laughs> hey, yes, Dan, he got married. Whoa. <laughs> Oh, and uh, these are my brothers, Ephraim and Daniel. How are you, Brother Ephraim, Brother Daniel? Which one of you is Ephraim and which is Daniel? Me. <laughs> oh. Oh, and uh, this here's my brother, Benjamin. Hey. Well, how are you, Brother Benjamin? Huh? Well, you didn't tell me you had any brothers. Yeah, well, I guess it was a wedding that threw it out of my head. <laughs> uh, why don't we go into the house? Oh, do you all live around here? <laughs> Not round. Here, of course. Oh! Come all right, I really think we should go into the house yeah. now. <laughs> Yeah, 
Yeah, well, I guess it could be some ready enough, but without the jewelry. Hey, wake up there, meet your sister in law. Smell. I got a bag. Oh. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Uh, Frank, this here is Millie, and Millie, this here is Frank. Hey, Adam, I was wondering if. Oh, and well, this here is Gideon. Well, how are you, Brother Gideon? Gideon wants to throw down that spoon. We're going to have some real cooking for a change. Ma'am. Well, are there any more? Nope. That's it. Gideon's the last born. Well, you'll have to give me some time to put the right name to the right brother. Well, it's simple. Just remember your ABCs. Adam, Benjamin, Caleb, Daniel, Ephraim, Frank, and Gideon. Oh, well, they're all real fine-sounding names. Bible names. <laughs> yeah, that was Ma's idea. The ABCs, well, that was Paul's. So he could keep track of us. He planned on using all 26 letters of the alphabet right down to Zachariah. But then he got one look at Gideon here, went out and shot the tree <laughs> down. Well, there is one name in the Bible I don't remember. Frank. <laughs> well, that ain't his real name, is it, Frank? <laughs> we just call him that for short. <laughs> yeah, there weren't no F names in the Bible. Yeah. So Ma called him Frankincense. Because <laughs> he smells so sweet. That's right. <laughs> Whoa, oh, Frank! Oh. Hey! Well, can't stop it! Get over here! Oh, you'll get used to that. Ow! I just gotta touch you about a thing. Oh, yeah. Come uh, here. Now, up there will be our bedroom, right? And uh, if you'll just follow okay. me this way. Uh, this is where the boys bunk. And uh, if you'll just follow me this way. Uh, that's the wash basket. Me and the boys were kind of uh, tough on the clothes. There's a lot of washing and mending, but. Uh, now that I'm here. Uh, and if you'll follow me over here, uh, that is the kitchen. Uh, let's see, the flour, the, uh, the salt pork, and just about everything you'll be needing to fix this is in there. Frank, All right, that's enough of y'all. Get, I just supposed to get supper with you on the foot, huh? Come on. You got chores, now go do them. Come on, Caleb. You too, Gideon. Go. Get. What are you boys sitting around here for? I gave you stuff to do. Now go! <laughs> Don't you dare use that against me, boy! Now go on and get your chores done! I've had enough of your sass, Ephraim. Now get out of here! Somebody would have better whoop those boys in the shape. Gosh! Uh, our back's wood pile and the water pump alongside it, and uh, that there is the dinner bell, so uh, you ring it good and loud when you got supper ready. Now, will you be shooting the dinner, or will I be doing that, too? Oh, no. You leave that to us. Good. It's wonderful having you here, Millie. Just wonderful. Millie, there's something you should know about Adam and his family. We're worried about you and your dreaming, Millie. It's enough to make you bitter But I've never been a quitter And I'm not nearly done I married seven brothers Married seven brothers Only one ten When you wake up, you're gonna be married
for me a plate. Yeah. All right, if you're gonna act like hogs, you can eat like hogs. Okay. Just because I'm a woman, I'm not some weak-willed woman. I won't be there Good job, Caleb. Thank you. <laughs> Benjamin, you boys get all your chores done. Yep. We got all our chores done, Adam. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, it's 10 o'clock, an hour past your bedtime. <coughs> Yours too, Adam. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, come to think, but I am a mite. <laughs> Funny, Caleb. I thought it was funny. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Who is it? It's me, Adam. Your husband. <laughs> Come in, Adam. Good night, boys. Good night, Adam. I uh, thought you'd be in bed. Well, I expected you to think that. Shall I turn down the covers? You can if you'd like, but I'm not going to bed. Adam, you didn't want a wife. You wanted a washwoman, a cook, a hired girl. Well, a hired girl's got a right to a sleeping place of her own. Now, Millie, I didn't mean to- To trick me? Now, Millie, before you know it, the boys would be off living on their own and married. If I'd have told you beforehand, you might not have come with me. And I wanted you to marry me, Millie. I wanted it real bad. Oh, sure you did. Because you knew I was young and strong and there was still a lot of work left in me. Well, I suppose that's partly true. It's a rough life up here, Millie. There's trees waiting to be felled, land to be plowed and fenced, stock to be fed. A man needs a wife that can work alongside him. Well, I'll work alongside you, Adam, but I won't sleep alongside you. Millie! Good night, Mr. Potipi. Oh. Uh, 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 uh. oh. I'm just giving her time to get out of her duds, is all. <laughs> she's a little nervous. Yeah, she's a little nervous. <laughs> <laughs> Bed down for the night. I don't know what cat's in. Good night, Millie. Adam? Yes, Millie. Do you want a blanket? No, thanks. <laughs> Millie? Yes, Adam. No need to sleep in that chair. You can use the bed. Yes, of course. <laughs> Adam? Uh-huh. I have to know something. I don't want what happened today to happen again. I want to trust you. Can I trust you, Adam? You can, Millie. Well, did you really want to marry me? <laughs> did I really want to marry you? Why, sure I did. I already told you before. Real bad. You're a right spunky gal, Millie. I like that. Besides, what fool wouldn't want to marry a woman? I figure that a man's not supposed to notice. And with air that shines better than a thoroughbred after a good rush. Well, I guess I was pretty mad. I 
I've built up, he's got to keep there with dreams. I know how it is with your brothers, you being the head of the house and all. You've got to keep their respect. I wouldn't want you to lose face. All things considered, maybe you'd better come back in. Oh, Adam! Oh, oh, oh. Katie, did what? you hear that? Okay, so she, she was like, oh, Adam! <laughs> clothes without hanging on the line. I came in before and got them. Uh, I couldn't get your inside clothes though, so I'll take them now, please. Our underwear? Yes, your underwear that you're sleeping in. Take care of her. Hey. Hey, where's Adam? We want to talk to Adam. Well, he's out in the field. He had his breakfast more than half an hour ago. What? That's okay. like 15 minutes. Well, I want to talk to Adam. Okay, well, there'll be plenty of time after breakfast. Rude. Did you hear that tone she just gave me? Yeah. Uh -oh. <laughs> Well, uh, I got hot muffins waiting. Wait, oh. what? Oh. Crisp bacon. Oh. Hot cakes. Hot cakes. Steaks and fried potatoes. Potatoes? They don't know. Yeah. Fresh ground coffee. Oh, Lord. Coffee. Well, I love coffee. Shut up. Frankincense. <laughs> Blanket around yourself and come out. Oh, uh, 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 no, no, man. No. Well, am I gonna get that winter underwear, or do I have to come in and take it off of you myself? Excuse me. Oh, hey, don't listen to her. She wouldn't dare. Oh, wouldn't I? I? Oh! Oh! Oh, you got it, Millie. I thought so. Frankincense. <laughs> well, you are. Every last one of you. Well, how come I've never seen any of you at the dances? Don't you like girls? We ain't hardly ever seen one. I don't understand. Well, we used to go down to town and get to drinking with the town folks. Yeah. Then somehow the place got all busted up. Wait! Right. No, uh uh. uh Say it. No. So then let us do it. Okay. <clears throat> oh, Lord. Uh, she's Jewish. <laughs> we thank thee for thy loving gifts and for thy bounty. <clears throat> Amen. 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 I like that. Hey! Put him back. Why? Put him back. Gideon, would you care for a flatterjack? <laughs> I would indeed. <laughs> but, but thank you. Oh, can you give me one? Hey, give me one. Oh, could I have the one I bit out of? Yeah. <laughs> These are good, Millie. Oh, oh, oh tastes real fine. <laughs> Millie, Millie, I'm real glad you're the lady Adam yeah. chose for his wife. Yeah. Well, thank you, Gideon. You ever think about being with a girl of your own? <laughs> well, I've thought about it, but I said Gideon. No. <laughs> well, there ain't nothing wrong with that. I'm sure the rest of you must have thought about girls, too. Oh, Okay, well, if it bothers you that much, there's plenty of other things we can talk about. Well, I think about girls all the time. All the time! Don't think about it is another way of talking about it. Let's just find something else to talk about. Oh, but, Millie, me and my brothers really know how to act around girls. That's right. Stop it. Oh. <laughs> well, that's okay. You can learn. 
Um, I'll show you. I'm the girl and you meet me coming out of church. Okay. You raise your hats. Okay. You raise your hats. Oh. Oh. Well, Daniel, what's the matter? My hair ain't combed. <laughs> well, then you gotta say something nice. Go on, Gideon, say something. Would you care for some chaw and tobacco? Uh, uh, one, Gideon. No, the girls don't chew tobacco, Gideon. Try again. Why? Oh. Nice night for a coon hunt. Yeah. We still got time to learn. Well, there's a whole month until the next social. But you'll have to remember, you'll have competition. Yeah. Every one of those girls got five, ten fellas buzzing all around her. We'll clear them out first thing. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's exactly what you mustn't do. Show those girls you know some etiquette. Etiquette what? Well, etiquette, Gideon. When you meet a girl, don't grab at her like she was a flapjack. They're good, though. Yeah, true. Offer her your arm. Stand up, go on. I'll see it, boy. Yeah. Oh, hey, wow. He's good at this. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, then you ask her for a stroll. Uh -huh. And you tell her how pretty she is. And you call her my dear, my darling, my precious, my pet. Wait, like a dog? Go and call, go and call. Oh, it's such a sense Go and call, go and call. Do it enough to go and see a girl. Oh, it's fun to hunt and shoot a gun. Yeah. Or to catch a rabbit on the run. Yeah. But you'll find it's twice as sport. Really? Okay. Oh, well, you gotta wait for Caleb. Okay. Oh, yes, ma'am. <laughs> now, there's a lots of things you've gotta know. Be sure the parlor light is low. What the? Cause I love and squeeze your hand. <laughs> Let me tell you, fellas, that is grand. You ham and haw a little while. She gives you kind of half a smile. Like that. She moves away, oh, oh, oh. and the strategy comes into play. We want to learn, don't you? No. <laughs> oh, oh. Frankincense. <laughs> <laughs> I'm smelling something sweet. <laughs> oh, mm, yes, it's it smells nice. <laughs> uh, yes, ma'am. <laughs> go in court. Go in court. To break the ice. The ice. Go and court, go and court. Here's a little feminine advice. Roll your eyes and heave a little sigh. <laughs> Grunt and groan like you're about to die. <laughs> that is what's known as emotion. Go and court. And well, how about sparking? Parlor's darkest, yeah. and you're longing for a fond embrace. Uh -huh. <laughs> Yeah, we well, suppose she up and slaps your face. Yeah. yeah. Just remember, blessed are the meek. Don't forget to turn the other cheek. Oh. Don't be larking, go and sparkin', go and dance, go and dancing. At a fancy ball and sing duets. Come on, Caleb. Uh uh. Oh, I didn't know. Be careful! Oh, I can't 
Just watch out. Grab me, bit. I got it. Uh, try something. Like this, I think. Kind of. Oh, go down. Got it. Ow. Yeah, sorry about it. Let's get going. that strangers mean trouble. Double trouble. Well, where they come from? Heaven. Kind <laughs> <laughs> of good looking. And all as tall as church staples. <laughs> Alice, which one do you like? The handsome one. <laughs> Millie? <gasps> Millie! <gasps> oh, <laughs> no, 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 no. Well, I'd like you to meet Zeke and Jeff, and that's Nathan. It was his family that took me in when I first arrived in town off the trail. 
Uh, Matt and Luke, and that's Joel. This is my husband, Adam Fontapie. Nice to meet you. Wait a second. I think I remember Adam Fontapie. Yeah, he's the one that threw me through the single pen window. <laughs> oh! 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 Hey, would you call him the guy that was in the wagon? You can see our boys have their hands full, please. <laughs> Oh, girls. Hey, guess Excuse what? me, would you mind showing our brothers who survived in such a big the social? My Billy, it would be such an honor. Oh, good. <laughs> oh, I'd be most pleased, ma'am, if you'd assist me and show me where to put this pie. <laughs> Why, I'd be pleased. I'd be pleased. This one. Oh, well, Frank, I'd like you to meet Sarah. Sarah, this is Frank. Ma'am. Here. Would you follow me? I'd love to, ma'am. Attaboy, Frankie. <laughs> really? It's nice to see you looking so handsome. I mean, good. Oh. <laughs> Why, thank you, Ruth. Okay, little, if you'll just follow Ruth. To the ends of the earth. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Daniel Ephraim, Martha Liza. Oh, okay. Well, Daniel and Ephraim, I'd like you to meet Liza and Martha. Pleased to meet you. Oh, pleased. <sighs> to meet you. Well, they're pleased too. After you, ladies. Oh, I'm in. <laughs> that's all we got, boy. Oh, Alice, I'm sorry, but that's all. Can I show you the table anyway? You know, you're the purtiest girl I ever acquainted. <laughs> Can I show you to the table, ma'am? You know, it wouldn't hurt you to learn some manners, too. What do I need manners for? All right, it got me a while. <laughs> All right, everyone, let's get to the dance.
go over here and get some refreshments. Before we get back to dancing, I'd like to remind all of you people. Well, everyone seems to be having a real good time. <laughs> seems so. Now I know it won't be long till they'll all be married and living it all around. Visiting back and forth at Christmas and birthdays with a pass full of babies and children. Whoa, now, Millie. You're moving a bit too fast for us potties. You have us grandparents before you know it. Well, what's the matter with that? You gotta start sometime. Why, Millie Potipi! Let's get back to dancing! Yeah, hey, don't, hey. Yeah, I have to stay. don't mind if I do. I know where they are. Next. Kick in the pants. Oh. Next. Swallowed up knuck on a loose tooth. Well, it's a wonder you have any teeth left at all. I'm sorry, Millie. Honest, but those folks, they jumped at him. I know you all did your best. Millie? Really? I feel kind of strange. Like, like I eat and except I ain't hungry. Well, if what I think ails you, Gideon, no doctor's gonna help any. Alice is sweet, isn't she? Well, who knew dancing could be such fun? <laughs> I have nothing to say to you. You feeling beauty? You're looking kind of peaky. I ain't sick, um, it's got a shaky feeling in my stomach, that's all. Yeah, I always get that way after a good fight. This ain't about fighting. It's another kind of feeling. Millie reckons it's about Alice. <laughs> Don't tell me Gideon's starting to get ideas about women. <laughs> Not women. Just one. Look at you, like a lost little calf. I don't mean to laugh or tease you. Where's your sense? There are so many girls with long golden curls to please you. Love comes and goes away. You're hurt and bad.
is in just any curl I know that love's not a game Alice is in just any girl I taught every girl's the same every about her. I reckon I love her. Where your friend, Gideon? You'll find out that one girl's pretty much like another. Benjamin, we'd miss you so. There's plenty to care for the farm without me. Well, Adam! What's the matter? Well, Benjamin says he's leaving. He says it's the winter, but I know it isn't that. He's grieving for his girl. They're all grieving. They're all lonely for their girls. <laughs> well, I don't know why they should grieve for them girls. They hardly saw them more than once. <laughs> well, if Benjamin goes, then another will go, and another, and... All right. I'll talk to you. Okay. Well, if you could just see yourself. You all been looking like a bunch of lovesick bull calves for more than a month now. Calico on the brain. 
Why don't you just go do yourselves a favor and go marry them girls? Them folks won't even let us in the town. Adam, how can we marry them if we can't even court them? <laughs> well, who says you have to court them? Your wife says you do. <laughs> Come on now. Millie, did I have to court her? Just go marry her. Oh, yeah. Just like that. Adam, those girls wouldn't let us marry them in a thousand years. A thousand years, huh? Yeah. Well, why don't you do like them Romans did with them Sabine women? Or Sabine women, or whatever they call them. I've been reading about it in one of Millie's books. Now, you see, these Romans, they was in the same fix as you was in. They was opening up new territory, and well, women were scarce. Now, there was these Sabine women down in the town. And well, what do those old Romans do? They up and carried them off. <laughs> just like that? Well, just like that. Of course, this being Oregon and God-fearing territory, you dare to carry off the parcel along with them. Yeah. Um, say, Adam, them Romans, they the ones that settle up north of you? Oh, no. <laughs> no. Frank, those are the Mormons. <laughs> oh. oh. This is olden times. This is history. I'll tell you about them sobbing women who lived in the Roman days. It seems that they all went swimming while their men was off to graze. Well, the Roman troop was riding by and saw them in their meal by. So they took them all back home to dry. At least that's what Plutarch said. Oh, yes, them women was sobbing, sobbing, sobbing fits of his eye. Every muscle was throbbing, throbbing from that riotous ride. Oh, they cried and kissed and oh. kissed and cried all over that Roman countryside. So don't forget that when you're taking a bride, sobbing fit to be tied from that riotous ride. Well, then what happened? Well, I'll tell you. They never did return their plunder Not fit to get all the loot yeah. They carried them home by thunder Burned roads on their small but cute And you never seen, so they tell me Such downright domesticity With a woman baby on each knee Named Claudia and Brute Oh yes, them women were sobbing, sobbing, sobbing Passing their lights While the Romans was going out Hop, hop, and start a fight <laughs> Occupied by sewing plots, the little took us for their tots and saying, Someday, women folk will have rights. Yeah, right. Pass <laughs> in all of them nights. Just so, while the Romans had fights. Hey, listen to this. Now, when the men folk went to fetch them, their women would not be fetched. It seems the Romans fetch them that their lady friends they catch. Right. <laughs> now, let this be because it's true. A lesson to the likes of you. Like this, yeah. Yeah. Or else they'll think you tech. Yeah, the one with Millie said. Well, surprise her. Oh, yes, them women were sobbing, 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 buckets of tears. Right, sad. On the cannibal, dobbing, dobbing, really rattled their ears. And that ain't all. Oh, they acted angry and annoyed. But secretly, they was overjoyed. Yeah. And I recall that with paralysis or steel. Oh, 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 the poor little dears. Them women were sobbing, sobbing, oh, yeah. sobbing, weeping the tongue. Just remember what's Robin, Robin, oh, yeah. Robin, 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 Robin,
where your girls live, right? Yeah. What's that you got there? A rock. Frank? These are women. Yeah, Frank. Frank is this. Frank. Frank. No respect. All right. Now keep blowing out of sight, or else you get a raffle up your nose. You hear? Oh, All right. right. Well, what are you doing? Go get your girls back. Oh, Yeehaw! Come on. That would be a sport. Just one little kiss. Well, Zeke, maybe just a little one. But you have to close your eyes first. <laughs> Marcus, dear, do read to me. What would you like to hear? Um, it really doesn't matter, whatever you'd like. Once upon a time, Little Red Riding Hood was walking through the forest, and all of a sudden, the big bad wolf appeared. He wanted to carry her off into the forest, but... What? What? No, uh, <laughs> Miss Alice. No, no, uh, Get Miss it. Perkins, man. Hurry up. <laughs> Come on, Liza, we gotta skedaddle. It's getting to be real late. I've got something in my shoe. Martha, I've got a set a minute. Our folks are going to be worried. Martha, it's just a minute. Oh, all right. I got it. Look, it's a pebble. My mama says that means to expect the unexpected. Martha? Liza? Martha? Liza? Oh, oh, you're Astra, what oh, are you I doing? Mean, oh, oh, hey, oh, Daniel, oh, we got oh, the wrong oh, girl. Swap. <laughs> Alice. <laughs> Miss Alice. <laughs> no. Uh. Miss Alice. Miss Alice, if I could ask you to come back to my cabin, you know. <laughs> you put your lollygagging and come on. <laughs> I can't take you anyway. Stay out too late. Here, here, kitty, kitty, kitty. Here, kitty, kitty, kitty. Here, kitty. Caleb! Yeah. Oh. 
me asking. Are you afraid of mice? Oh, yes. They have scared me to death. Good! <laughs> <laughs> this time, let's put an end to those party pigs. Hey! Yeah, come on, let's go! Hurry up! I need to sound so good. We're moving as fast as we can, Benjamin. Put the kitty in. Where are you? I'm not going to know. Benjamin, keep it quiet. Shh. Hurry, man. Towards that little box. Hold your fire, boys. One shot, then we bear the life in the avalanche. Shh. Shh. Keep your girls quiet. Shh. Abby, now? Just a few more feet to go. I'll kill those sons of a gun. All right, let him rip Get the parson. <laughs> <laughs> you, 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 
going to Go inside the house, boy. No. <laughs> this house is for the girls. You're not going to step one foot in this house while they're here. You're going to roost in the barn with the rest of the wild animals. Now, now Millie. You too. Now, Millie, everything will be just fine. And the boys, we'll get a preacher up here somehow, won't we, boys? Yeah. yeah. And you reckon those girls would want to marry them now? Aren't you the one that wanted them married with wives of their own? Well, sure I did. Wives they married, not stole. We didn't steal anything, Millie. I made it too easy for you, Adam. You had such a way with words. I should have seen who you are. It was their plainest day. N now, Millie, before you go saying well, something, I ain't you're gonna... begun to say what's on my mind. Okay. You've said enough. How could you have done this without talking to me first? Dad, blame it! You come in here bossing my brothers around. Telling them how to dress, how to eat, how to talk, and how to think. Making sissies out of all of them. Pretty soon they won't be able to go to the outhouse without you showing them how. Well, I've only been showing the boys how things are done, Adam. What's wrong with that? And they don't seem to mind. Yeah. Well, anybody can teach a dog to sit. But that don't mean it's that dog's nature. What are you saying? I'm saying that I'm head of this household, and me and the boys were staying in the house where we belong. No, Adam. No? No! Oh, Millie's right! I want to be proper. Come on! We'll stay in the barn. You leave things be. Adam, calm down. Leave things be. Well, isn't this just a fine how to do? Fine! If that's what you want, that's what you can have. But me, I'm getting out of here. I'm not taking it. Come back out here! Adam, listen to us. Listen to your brothers. The last time I listened to my brothers, I ended up getting married. I've been better off the higher cap. I can still see my papa. Chop trees and planting crops I can't forget. His toil and sweat. I can still see my mama. At the door, her face all flushed with pride. She knew how hard he tried. He was one of those tough young men who blazed new trails through gales of fallen snow and never lets go. He was father to seven sons. He taught us how to ride and hunt and fight. He made it so damn tough, and he was right. And where were you? When our barn burned to the ground Where were you when Caleb nearly drowned? And where were you the day that Mama died? The boys had to grow up fast when Mama passed They had to face the bitter world alone My pa worked himself to death for Gideon could even walk and I never once heard Mama cross him. You hear that, Millie? Never went really through the socials. I was too busy seeing that the boys had a close. So no one froze. Thought of all those before me. Risking lives on misery trails, but they pushed on to Oregon. So determined to tame this country. Families were dying every day, but they'd work and pray. And you can be sure no woman ever told those brave souls what to do. One travel to you, Millie, one travel to you. And where were you when blood was being spilled? Where were you when towns were being Takes a man who has a lion's heart. So what's gonna let you in and let you in by tearing us apart? It took men our mind to shape this land. It took men who stood just where I stand. Their women stood 
behind them night and day. They knew how to love, honor, and obey. Been this way since time began. So stand behind your man. Ha, ha, frankincense. Hey, hey, hey. Well, I can help you with that, ma'am. Ow! Ow! <laughs> My toe! <laughs> it's so funny. Ow! Oh! Give her two minutes alone with Ruth. No telling when I'm gonna see Martha again. Why not to smell perfume and not smell beer? But we've gotta make it through the winter Or we won't get love in the spring We've gotta make it through the winter Billy says we won't get a dog on Billy says we won't get a dog on thing And my Martha's in the tub, soaping herself down. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Did you see how Alice danced? Never seen such curves. Stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it. you're getting on our nerves. Ah! Let me buy, let me buy, let me get to her. I'll get to her. What am I, man or mouse? We should be with our women in that house. Oh, we've got to make it through the winter, or we won't get love in the spring. We've got to make it through the winter. Billy says we won't get a dog on thing. About her clothes are hanging on a chair Oh, Daniel! Who so sigh and beg for more when we begin to pet Stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it You got us in a sweat Yes, we've gotta make it through the winter Or we won't get love in the spring We've gotta make it through the winter and Billy says we won't Millie says, 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 
make it through the winter. Miss Ruth? Miss <laughs> <laughs> <Ms>. Dorcas? <laughs> okay, okay. Come on. Next. Miss <laughs> <Ms>. Alice. <laughs> Good job, Gideon. <laughs> oh, Gideon. <laughs> All right, come on. Next. <laughs> Miss Martha, I made this uh, this hat for you. <laughs> Mine's bigger than yours. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Miss Sarah. Miss Alice. Come on, Gideon, stop it. To know how deeply and sincerely sorry we are for what we did. Miss Alice. Gideon, get off of the post. Let go. I just want, I let want go. to let, let go, let go. And we hope you accept these tokens of our deepest affections. Miss Alice, get in! Shut up! <laughs> On behalf of the girls, thank you. Now please go on about your chores and let us get back to ours. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> yeah. Naked. Oh, oh, we got it. We got it. <laughs> bye. Ah. bye. Bye, Martha. Bye, bye, Martha. Bye, Martha. It was great. Nice to see you again. Oh, oh. get back, Come on. Oh. <laughs> bye. Miss Alice. <laughs> Millie? Millie, I'm real worried about Adam. He's been up on that ridge for more than a month. Well, well, suppose he was to get sick or uh, break a leg. Wolves are real bad this time of year, Millie. Wolves would be good company for him. I could go up to the cabin and ask him to come back. Your chores are waiting, Gideon. Sweet, wasn't it? Yeah. Very. <laughs> Millie, don't you miss Adam? 
Even just a little bit? Well, I try not to think about it. Well, we know how you feel. Yes, we do. You do? Millie, you feel the same way. Oh. Good! Then let's all have dinner together. Yes. Oh, yes. That's That's a great idea. Idea. Well, Alice, you know the rules. Millie, what are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? Be strong. But what are we gonna do the rest of the time? Yeah. Well, there's plenty of things we can do. We can tend to the house and make new clothes for ourselves. And for the baby. Baby? Baby? baby. Who's having a baby? Me and Adam. <gasps> Millie! Oh, I can't believe it! Oh, um, does Adam know? No. Oh, oh. Millie, that's terrible. How come he didn't know? Well, Alice, I didn't reckon it was time to tell him. Mm -hmm. I figure we'd better get things worked out between us first. I'm thinking about heading east, back home. By yourself? With a baby? Oh, don't worry, Millie. Things could be a lot worse. We could all be having babies. <laughs> <laughs> Ew! <laughs> well, you girls will be back in town with your Dorcas. families. And those dreary towns boys? Dorcas. <laughs> Millie, we don't want to go home. You mean you like it here? There are plenty of reasons to like it here, Millie. Six of them. <laughs> So you like the boys? Maybe. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, maybe someday. But when, Millie?
What's the matter? Got tired of sleeping out in the barn? Well, I'm doing fine, Adam. Yeah? How your brothers do? They're doing real fine, too. Lots happened since... since you left. No. Oh. Yeah, Millie finally let us court the girls, so... things been real good with us. <laughs> Is that why you come all the way up here? Uh, Just so I... you can tell me that? Come to get you. Take you with me. It's spring back at the farm. Yeah? Well, it ain't up here yet. Al? Millie's had a baby. Came the day before yesterday. I don't believe it. It's just as true as Ma being here. I don't believe it. Just another one of her tricks to get me back. Yeah? Well, I ain't going. Not even to see the baby. Your own kid, Adam. Your, your little girl. A little girl? I might have known she'd have a little girl. <laughs> She's a spitting image of you, Adam. Yeah? What? You don't know any more about babies than you do, Millie! You know what I do know? I do know that she's gone and changed all she of you. She hasn't changed us, Adam! Get out of here. We was wrong. You thinking she, she do something to trick you? Adam, Millie ain't that kind. She's a proud and spunky lady, Adam. She ain't gonna bring herself to ask you back. Yeah. Well, she would be wasting her breath anyway. Because I ain't going back, Gideon. Millie misses you, Adam. Adam? What? You being my eldest brother? I've always looked up to you. I even tried to be like you, but today? I feel so ashamed of you. Now, I know you can lick me. Lick the tar out of me, but I wouldn't hold myself to no kind of man if I didn't show you how I felt! Are you done now, Gideon? Yes, sir. Tell him I'll be back when the pass is open. I'll stay with you till the shooting's over. Now get, Gideon! Go! Am I stubborn and unbent?
austerity. I told you I'd be back when the pass is over. Boys, go get the wagon hitched up. The wagon? That's right. And put in plenty of straw and blankets, too. I'm taking the girls back to town. What? what? You can't be serious. I said I'm taking the girls back to town. Now go get the wagon hitched up. Adam, that will be dangerous for the boys. She sure is a pretty little thing. And she a mite small? She's the right size, Adam. What'd you name her? Hannah. Picking up where your mother left off. Hannah. It's not written down yet. We can change it if you'd like. It's a good name. God thinking up there in the mountains about our little girl. What I'd do if someone came sneaking in and carried her off. I'd kill the son of a gun. I'd string, I'd string him up the next tree. I'd shoot him down like I would a thieving fox. God's thinking about you up there, too. Did you, Adam? It seems I couldn't get you off of my mind. And? Take a woman. You should have been talked with. I ain't never been much for apologies. But I'm sorry, Millie. You hear me? I'm sorry. I'm happy to be here, Sophia. You are. I can see that she makes you really happy. Um, I'm sorry, too. You are? I'm sorry I married a pig headed, stubborn, honorary. now. Yeah. Well, I'm still head of this household. And I say I'm taking the girls back where they belong. I reckon you're gonna have to show me. Me too. Don't you see that taking them back is the only way you're gonna keep them? We'll have the whole townsfolk down on us. Let them come. We'll fight them all. Yeah. yeah. Sure. Who will you be fighting then, Caleb? They're kinfolk. That's who. Someone's bound to get hurt. A father. 
maybe a brother even. And do you really think those girls are going to want to marry you after that? Adam's right. I stand with Adam. Yeah. Well, don't stand too close. Adam, the girls have run away. What? what? They don't want to go back to town. They want to stay here with the boys. Yes! yes. 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 Yeah. We'll go get them. Bring them back. Yeah, let's go. go. <laughs> Decent fellows. We have no beef with you, Adam. This whole idea was my doing. Just mine. Nobody meant any harm. 
hang it up, Adam. I'll hang it up if you let them go. Well, hang up! No! no!
ten battalions of men. I'm back waiting tables again. Right. There's a dozen men in there bellowing for the veil. I married seven brothers, became seven wives, seven mothers. All those gaping boots in old muddy boots. I'm locked in a cabin of fruit. I'll have to make a million strips of bacon. And what about the eggs I'll have to fry? All my faith in marriage has been shaken. I'll be cooking pork and beans, turning flapjacks, baking bread, making pies. I'll be cooking muffins, turkey stuffings, chain to the kitchen till I die. Oh, I married seven pumpkins, and I'd like to squash them like pumpkins. I should take every pan, smash every man, wipe out this quantity clan. Because 